So this just in, Redfin is cutting ties with NAR, the National Association of Realtors. My, my voice is a little off. I'm in Vegas. I'm about to speak to about a thousand real estate agents here. And I uh, went to Michael Jackson last night, so <laughs> my voice is shot. So anyway, I did want to bring you this breaking news here with Redfin and what they're doing here and uh, kind of give you my thoughts on it and get your opinion. I would love to hear your opinions in the comments. But the, when this story broke out and I started to dig into it, it just got juicier and juicier. I didn't realize what all was happening behind the scenes here. So basically Redfin, right, which is this massive brokerage, 18, you know, hundred plus agents. Um, and, you know, they, they, they're, a, a, you know, they're basically, a, I guess they're considered a discount brokerage. I don't know if they would hate me to say that, but they basically work for a flat fee on the listing side and um, not a flat fee, 1%. They do 1% on the listing side and then they offer the buyer agent commission. So back in June, they basically said, we're not going to sit on the board. They were sitting on the board of the National Association of Realtors. And now later on, now they say that they're going to discontinue their membership. And by the way, they've paid $13 million since 2017 uh, in membership fees to the National Association of Realtors. And they say that they're canceling their membership um, over this sex misconduct uh, scandal that was happening with the president of NAR that's still under investigation, that president has been removed at this point and everything else. Um, but there's also um, other things happening behind the scenes. And I don't know if you've picked up on this, but you know, there's a lot going on with NAR. Number one, this uh, antitrust lawsuit with the buyer agent commission, which Remax and Anywhere have offered to settle out for. NAR says they're not gonna settle out. I don't know if that's a big mistake or not. You've got some of the best attorneys out there who have sued and been successful against suing some of the biggest companies in the world. Um, you know, and you're kind of rolling the dice there. And if if they lose that case, then that could open up a whole situation where tons of other brokerages now are getting sued, right? Not just the ones that are mentioned in the current lawsuit. So there's a lot of stuff happening, man. And then when you look at the Redfin situation, um, they decided to leave the board in June over the rules of NAR, where NAR basically says that you have to put uh, you have to offer buyer compensation in the listing. Okay. Well, Redfin didn't like that. Why? Because Redfin offers or they, they advertise for sale by owners on their website. And they do that because they want complete transparency with consumers in the market. They want consumers to be able to go to their platform and see everything that's listed by agents and also everything listed by owner. They want complete transparency and they feel like that's what's best for the consumer and NAR doesn't really allow that because they basically say there's this rule that you have to offer a buyer agent commission and not offer sell by owners offer a buyer agent commission so they decided that they were gonna you know be removed from the the board then with the thoughts of actually canceling membership and now fast forward and what I think is really happening I'd love to hear your thoughts is that they're really distancing themselves from NAR because of this lawsuit. So there's there's a lot of different things happening, a lot of reasons and stuff, but I think at the end of the day, they kind of see that this could turn into something and they don't want to be a part of it. They don't want to be a part of it. They, they see Remax settling out. I mean, <clears throat> mind you, you know, Redfin comes out and says this after Remax offers to settle out for 55 million, Anywhere offers to settle out for 83 and a half million and uh, and now Redfin is, you know, <laughs> not going to be a member of NAR. I think that they're scared of this lawsuit possibly getting aimed at them if, in fact, NAR loses. And NAR's the one saying, We've draw, we're going to draw a line in the sand. We're going to take this thing all the way to court. So there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. And then just the overall vibe in the industry of agents. You know, a lot of agents comment on my YouTubes and Instagram, you know, like, what do we need NAR for? Let's go start our own uh, association. We don't like the way that this is going. And look who we got. Hello. <laughs> so, all I'm saying is, is that um, Redfin canceled their membership. They paid 
NAR $13 million since 2017. So I looked at NAR's um, National Association of Realtors, by the way. NAR is National Association of Realtors. I looked at their revenue, yearly revenue. Um, last year, it was $207 million. Okay. The year before, though, was $327 million. I had no idea that NAR's revenue was hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. But it did go down quite a bit from 327 to 207. And I don't know exactly why. You know, the market did shift. And we know agents have left the business. But did that many agents leave the business? Um, it kind of makes me wonder what's going on behind the scenes that's caused that hunt more than 100000 more than a 40% drop in yearly revenue. And now you've got Redfin leaving, which is another big chunk of money that's not going to be coming in anymore. So all this, it just got juicier and juicier and juicier. I'm going to tell you my thoughts, and I want you to give, you, give me your thoughts. But my thoughts are that we've, we have this incredible infrastructure in place with NAR. And, and by the way, Redfin can't leave. They're, they're, not, they're not making agents in every single market leave the NAR membership. Why? Because NAR has a setup where you have to be part of NAR, okay? You have to be a member of NAR to, to, to be affiliated with the state and the local board, which means what? Having access to MLS. So what I'm saying is there's certain markets that if you're not part of NAR, you don't get access to the local MLS, which is, well, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little suspect. But, so they're not making every single agent actually leave because they're not going to, they don't want their agents to be without the tools they need to go out there and succeed and uh, help their clients buy and sell real estate. You have to be a part of MLS. I mean, that's the most powerful uh, infrastructure, the most powerful system that we have as agents to leverage um, to get our properties into the market and to search the market and so on and so forth. We have to be a part of that for a real estate agent. I, I don't know how agents who aren't a part of that that are in residential sales are making it um, per se. But my thoughts are, you know, yeah, it's not perfect. Maybe we need an overhaul, a, a, a restructuring, if you will. But at the end of the day, I think that we all just need to learn how to get along. Like, we need to, to, to form alliances here, not starting to distance ourselves. And I don't know if NAR is making the best decisions with not, not at least talking about settling out for, you know, something with this lawsuit or trying to work out some deal. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. You know, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes completely with that situation. But, but just overall, right? We have MLS. You know, I love a lot of things about NAR. Maybe we need a restructuring, but I think we should try to bring it all together instead of trying to, you know, eliminate and disband and dissipate the situation between local board, state, you know, National Association of Realtors, brokerages. I think if we could all get on the same page, then it would be glorious because let's face it, the system has, you know, up to a certain point, the system worked great. Can we get back to those days when things were working really great? So anyway, wanted to give you an update, give you my thoughts. Um, at the end of the day, I don't believe that this is Anything to worry about? Anything? I know there's some agents that are hitting me up saying, oh, man, this is crazy. This is the end of the world <laughs> type thing. Everybody says everything's the end of the world. But um, it's not, right? Continue doing what you're doing, helping people buy and sell real estate, building that database, building your business, building your career, and let me know what I can do to help. See you on the next video.